New, uh, it must be very excited today, the reintroduction of a, of a passenger service that's much needed here in the Bathurst area. This is a tremendous day actually when you think of it because uh, New South Wales regions grew off the back of the rail system and I think it's a crying shame that over the last uh, 30 years or so since um, that the rail service has been put in a state of decline that we're starting to rebuild it again. I think it's a a very uh, appropriate place that uh, it starts here in Bathurst and maybe it'll set the precedent for future rail development uh, for the state government. Well, I certainly agree with that and uh, and you think that there's potential for this service to be seen as, as an example of what a community can do? Exactly. Ken Shepherd from the Lithgow Depot was charged with the responsibility of piloting the Bathurst Bullet on its maiden journey. The Endeavour train has a maximum speed of 145 kilometres an hour, although Mr Shepherd said it would probably average 75 kilometres an hour for the three and a half hour trip to Sydney. Paul, a great day for Bathurst today, reintroduction of a daily passenger service. Oh, look, this is a fantastic day for Bathurst. We've got the daily service that is being introduced. It has been the hard work of, of the Rail Action Bathurst Group for nearly 20 years. So I'm very pleased to be able to deliver an election commitment, to deliver on a very important service for the people of Bathurst. Paul, a, a great uh, achievement for yourself to get something like this put in because, as you know, um, rail services in the country tend to tend to contract to get something put back in like this must be a, a, a great vindication for yourself for the hard work that you've done as well oh, it's very pleasing uh, I have to say that you know we've got this daily service that is being introduced today there's been a big cry from the community for for nearly two decades to be able to get to Sydney in the one day whether it be for medical needs whether it be for business opportunities I uh, look the, the opportunities here are endless it's going to create further tourism here to the region uh, to the central west and we know that it's been a cry out for service like this for a long time. Look, I'm, it's got minimal stops on the way through to Sydney. There's only six stops on the way through. Uh, this is going to ensure that it reaches Central in uh, three hours and 40 minutes. And there's a great crowd here this morning supporting this uh, inaugural launch of this new train. Yeah, great idea. Um, great to see this happen. And, and as you said, a good crowd. Uh, what would you say to the people of Bathurst to, uh, to ensure that they get the service here on a long-term basis? What would your thoughts be uh, to the people of Bathurst? Yeah, look, we've, we've fought very hard to get this service back. Let's all make sure now we get on board, make sure we use it to ensure that the service stays here now, well and truly into the future. Good on you. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. For the inaugural trip, badges and placards were on display, honouring Beryl and Max Turnbull, who were the driving force for the original campaign for the train going back almost two decades. Looking forward to the day you're going down? Oh yes, oh. we are. We're very close. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's lovely. Part of the historic memorabilia of Bathurst Railway Station, Lots of photos were taken. 
He has his ticket all ready for boarding. Such as the Bathurst Regional Council, the the media, all all phases of the media, uh, they've been very very supportive of us, and of course the community, the community also has been very very supportive of us, and we we have really appreciated that along the way. So the time has come. I would also I must thank our our local member Paul Till. He has been a uh, along with the others also at Tower of Street and of course I don't think he let the Transport Minister shut, his, shut her door when he went down to do his negotiations with her. So uh, I hope I've really thanked all those significant people that the groups that have been involved. Let's go out, have a great day and uh, be very... I also, I have forgotten someone, that is the Royal Corp organisation. They have been tr tremendous today in all the support that they have given us. And I want the, the uh, Royal Corp management to really know that because I can see they've put a lot of thought into it to make sure today is going to run very smoothly. Thank you very much, everyone. And enjoy your day. And I hope Bathurst really thrives on this, the benefits of this, this rail today. Thank you very much. Now Matthew needs no introduction, the State Member Portal. Yeah, thank you Annabelle. And firstly, can I just say what a wonderful turnout it is here this morning for our inaugural relaunch of the daily train service from Bathurst to Central. Can I just congratulate John Hollis and all members of the Rail Action Bathurst Group who have been instrumental for nearly two decades in trying to get this service back on the rails. And what we now have is a, a service that is going to go to Sydney and uh, Sydney in the one day and return. But what we want now from the community is to make sure that we spread the word. There's a great turn up here today, but let's make sure that in six months time, 12 months time, we've got people down here wanting to continue to use this service. Could I also just acknowledge, uh, there's a number of councillors here this morning. There's the Mayor of uh, Bathurst Regional Council, Councillor Monica Morse, also Councillor Gary Rush, and um, I know Councillor Greg Westman is also here as well, so I thank those councils for coming down. Uh, could I just also say that uh, in today we have also the band behind me. Uh, the band is very shortly going to play as we do head into the, uh, into the station there and start to board the uh, train itself. But I'm pleased on behalf of the New South Wales Government to have uh, delivered on an election commitment. Uh, a lot of people said it couldn't happen and wouldn't happen, but I'm very pleased that we've found a rolling stock had it refurbished, and here we are today with a new Endeavour train on the train, on the tracks for the City of Bathurst. Well done, everyone involved. Thank you, Paul. Uh, we're now going to move through to the station and cut the ribbon. Those invited guests, um, please move towards the front uh, of the train, and we'll, we'll cut the ribbon. I'd just like to say thank you to our wonderful band. They're going to provide some amazing entertainment for those people who are staying in Bathurst. Thank you all for coming out this morning. some photos by the Western Advocate. Beautiful, thank you. Right on time, we're on our way. Ah, now I've got three hours of boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bring out the cards, fellas. Why has it got to be an extra hour? Where is the stereo? 
going on the near bridge and the old bridge is in the background. <laughs> Wind Television is on board doing interviews. Once leaving the outskirts of Bathurst, we pass into agricultural country, lovely rolling uh, country which is used for both cropping and stock. <laughs> A souvenir bookmark is presented to all the happy travellers. those travelling from Bathurst to Lithgow have formerly had to take a bus. If I can just get your name and your title, thanks. Yeah. Monica Morse, Mayor of Bathurst. And Monica, a very exciting day for Bathurst with the uh, return of a, a day return rail service. Excellent, isn't it? It's such a good thing to have that we can go to Sydney for the day and come home not too late at night. It's, it's a wonderful thing both for people travelling to Sydney on a Sunday like today and for businesses and people travelling to Sydney for appointments. I was talking to a lady yesterday who said that she'll go down for business, but she can do a lot of business on the train. Instead of having to drive, she can sit on the train, use her laptop and get a lot of business done. That's a great thing to be able to do, isn't it? It saves all that wasted time if you're in the car just concentrating on the road. I know, and it's very tiring actually driving down and driving back. It's a, it's a bit risky coming back after a day's meeting in Sydney. Absolutely. Mm. Monica, and also from the tourist potential, look at the crowd today, the excited people travelling to, traveling to uh, Sydney, but there's also the opportunity for Sydney people to travel to Bathurst on the train. Uh, yes, I'm not sure how that works. They'd have to come back the night before, wouldn't they? That's an extra yeah. night in Bathurst, you say? In Bathurst, yeah. <laughs> well, we're going down to see sculpture by the sea, and I know other people are going down for Luna Park or shopping but during the week of course it's medical appointments business appointments so or to see grandchildren it uh, must be very exciting as the, the mayor to see something come to Bathurst when when everywhere else is getting their rail services contracted and here's Bathurst getting a new service installed I know it's great credit to John Hollis and his wife Margaret they worked very very hard for this and of course Paul Tool has been involved as well but John and Margaret Hollis have been the prime movers behind this and I must confess I never thought it would happen but it it does and we're here well congratulations to you as mayor of bathurst and the bathurst community thank you very much thank, thank you. you annabelle miller director of cultural and community services bathurst regional council now bruce tells me you've been associated with him with the uh, bathurst remembers project so you're actually seeing him uh, in the field so to speak today yes yeah um, council is happy to to um, be part of bruce's project and it's always nice to see what he comes up with <laughs> annabelle a very exciting day for bathurst today with the reintroduction of a day return rail service. Yeah, it's a huge benefit for Bathurst and I think not only from the social aspect which we're obviously celebrating today about a business and an educational aspect, it will add great layers to our community. And, and also great for people who, like today on a Sunday, are taking a trip to Sydney. So it's a real service for Bathurst people, isn't it? Not just for business, for medical, but also for the chance to travel to the city. Yeah, it's a fantastic service for Bathurst, but I think we need to go further than that. And it's a fantastic service for the region, for people to actually come to Bathurst and stay and, and then take their day trip to Sydney as well. And, and that shouldn't be overlooked. It's about equity of access for the Central West. Whilst it's really important to the, the Bathurst community on on so many different levels. I think the ability for people to travel to the city and back for medical appointments was probably one of the driving factors behind the committee and and just for the, the ease of, of transport in and out because as you know health is not decentralised across our state so, so that's been a big portion of
big concern for the residents and we're happy that it's actually come to bear fruit. Annabelle, you raised an interesting point and uh, as I come from CARE, I think you, you've hit a nerve there that this service is for the whole Central West, not just for the people of Bathurst. Yeah, I think my perspective is that Bathurst makes it a central point and, and instead of coming to Sydney and having to hassle with the traffic and, and fight with whoever and the accommodation and, and all of that, they can do that in Bathurst. It's a relaxed atmosphere. It's, it's well known to most people out of the region. So it's going to be more of a friendly type arrangement to, to come to Bathurst, say, on a Sunday night to catch the train on a Monday to come back, stay in Bathurst again and, and then go home. It's, it's more than likely the same amount of time that people are away from home, but it's in a location where they feel much more comfortable. So I think that, that that's a huge benefit for the region. Well, and it's what a great crowd today. So enthusiastic, so happy. Yeah, it's a fantastic crowd today and everyone's having a, a really nice time. There's, there's no um, people who are too tired, although I thought I would be. <laughs> but um, I think uh, there's lots of people who have just planned a day trip, so the train will be full on the way home as well. Annabelle, thank you very much and congratulations. You're welcome, Lawrence. It wasn't me, it was a fantastic committee that put this all together. I'm just part of that. Well done, thanks very much. Bruce, in a moment we're going to be going through the Marangaroo Tunnel, which cuts through the ridge line overlooking Lithgow and takes us down into the Lithgow Valley. So, uh, double track tunnel, very, very long tunnel. Um, so, for a moment, we'll be coming up to it and then you'll be able to get a photo of the uh, portal as we come through. So, we're climbing up towards the tunnel now. And then, when we come out from the other end, we're in the Lithgow Valley and we drift down to Lithgow Railway Station, past historic Bowenfell Station, which is a, a, a beautiful old bluestone building. Bruce, what you'll see here, we swing around to the left and uh, then we go over the Farmer's Creek. The original viaduct is going to be just on our left hand side. Uh, and we, we go we go beneath the Great Western Highway here and onto the Farmers Creek Viaduct here now. And we're just coming onto the side is Bowenfells, which is the uh, the limit of the electrification of the line here from Sydney. So we're just about we're now in the electric railway territory. So now we're actually physically in city rail territory. And we're coming up to the beautiful old Bowenfell station here. And you can see it was used as a restaurant at one stage and then was was vandalised very heavily and now it's secured so no one can actually get into it. Second Lithgow station, the original one is uh, called S Bank and it's located a little, little further up from us here. To our right as we come around this curve is the famous Lithgow zigzag, regarded as one of the world's greatest engineering feats when it was opened in 1868. It took the line from the, the Lithgow Valley and uh, put it up onto the plateau of the Blue Mountains. So as you look above us, you'll see the, the lines heading up onto the zigzag. The roads, of course, the trains have stopped running at the moment. So there, to the right, Bruce, the viaduct, the big, the major viaduct of the zigzag there. But uh, hopefully they'll be soon up and running again. The zigzag was replaced in 1910 by what became known as the 10 tunnels. And as you'll see in a moment, when we get past Zigzag Platform, which is just up here, we then begin the, the climb through the Blue Mountains, through the 10 tunnels. So here on the right hand side is the operational depot of the Zigzag Railway, and also a small station building called Zigzag Station, and uh, the large sheds here. That's their railway depot. You can actually catch the train here when they're operational. And that's the zigzag line. The line starts climbing very steeply from away from us here and actually goes over, as the name suggests, a zigzag of three roads. Bottom, top and middle road. And uh, that takes the line up to the Blue Mountains Escarpment. So you see the operational sets for the zigzag railway here. And now 
what superseded the zigzag, of course, was the ten tunnels. And we're about to start entering the, ten, the famous ten tunnels uh, that, that take us over to what's called the Darling Causeway. Uh, that was tunnel number ten, Bruce, and that's the longest of the tunnels. Uh, we now go into a series of tunnels, one after another, and they're all quite short, or they quite short in comparison to that one. And uh, we just go basically from one to another as we cut through these ridge lines. <laughs> We now pick up speed as we pass Bells and proceed on to Mount Victoria with beautiful views to be had of the mountains and valleys. <laughs> Mount Victoria Station. <laughs> Fun photos with the figurehead clerks are taken at each stop. For rail enthusiasts, here is some information about the Endeavour rail car. It is a diesel multiple unit. Each set consists of two carriages. Each car is powered by a Cummins diesel engine, coupled to a Voith hydraulic transmission driving both axles on one bogey. An auxiliary Cummins diesel engine drives a new age alternator to supply power for the air conditioning and lighting. As we transverse the mountain plateau, we look down on beautiful valleys, popular for tourism and passing the famous Hydro Majestic Hotel. Katoomba Station. Katoomba is a wonderful stopping off point for those who appreciate beautiful mountain scenery and a wide variety of different eating houses and attractions. This type of train was first brought into service in 1994. Overall there were 15 two-carriage sets built. For this new service the Endeavour has undergone a major refurbishment. The maximum speed of Endeavour rail cars is 160 kilometres an hour, but in service this is limited to 145 kilometres an hour. Crossing the Great Western Highway. Okay, hi, I'm Branca. And Branca, you come from Bathurst? Yes, I live there. I've been living there for 12 years now. And then. What made you travel on the first of the new Bathurst day trains? Actually, I do like travelling on the train. That will be the reason, number one. I used to travel much more, let's say, 10, 12 years ago. I didn't drive that time, and occasionally I do take the train. It's really convenient, it's nice, it's clean, it's really good. And you're travelling down to Sydney today? Yes, I will be staying for one week, and I'm not sure if I'm going back on train, but hopefully I will. And do you think you'll be able to use this service in the future? Definitely. I also believe that you know it would be good if other people do it, so so they will keep this service. Thank you very much. You want Cole Taylor? Yeah. Thank you, Cole. Cole, you're a Bathurst resident. Yes. And what made you travel on the first of these new day trains for Bathurst? Well, it was an accident. I didn't know it was the first. I just saw it advertised, and I thought that's great. We'll uh, go to Sydney for the day and see what happens. Really? So you didn't see the advertising at all, and just took it on the chance that you'd have a. <laughs> Well, we saw it was coming. We didn't know this was the first day. So when we turned up and found the band and the sausage sizzle, a bit of a surprise. So, Cole, you think you'll be able to use this service on a regular basis, you know, for travel to Sydney and so on? Yes, but I don't know how regular. Yeah, it's not going to be a daily event, but, yeah, it, it seems like a good service. Good idea. Yeah, very convenient on a weekend especially, isn't it? For us old people, it's terrific. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that you had a chance to travel on the first train. Good on you, Cole. Me too. Thank you very, very much. much. My name's Robin. Now, Robin, you're travelling on the first of the new services down to, from Bathurst to Sydney. Yep. Um, did you know it was the first train today? Yes, we did. Yeah. And you've got the, the whole family along? Yes, 
Yes, we thought we'd take a day trip down to Sydney, which would be lovely. So, yeah. And you're going to uh, come back on the train again tonight, are yes. you? Yes. Yep. So what are you planning to do in Sydney? We're thinking of going on the ferry across to Manly and possibly having lunch over there and just showing the kids the side of Sydney, So, which is good. Excellent. Now, Robin, do you think this is a service that uh, will be good for Bathurst? Do you think people will be, will be using it in the future? I think so, yeah. yes. And, and you'd encourage other people with families to take the chance to travel oh, on the train? I think it's a lovely idea, especially the fun day Sunday, so that's great. That's great to hear that. Thank you very much, right. Robin. Thank you. Coming in to Springwood. I'll just leave it. Yep. Photographers going out to get a quick, quick shot. With the uh, figurehead signs getting the shot, and everyone's out there getting a shot and racing back again. All has to be done very fast. Coming into Henry. Oh, man. As we get into the metropolitan area and see the many lines, we can appreciate the amount of maintenance and service that must have to go on all the time. Bruce, we're actually running ahead of time at the moment, so, yeah. so we may have to do a little bit of slow running, Bruce, to get there on time. <laughs> the new Channel 7 building in the Technology Park at Redford. Arriving in Central. And a big reception awaited us with the Minister for Transport and, of course, the media. Lots of happy memories and achievements to record. The sipping media was keen to give substantial time to the rail story, which also extended to the announcement of a number of additional rail services and timetables. Details of these can be seen in the news clips at the end of this production. Hi Lawrence. 
Jane, it's a big day for the people of Bathurst today. It's a great day, not just for the people of Bathurst, but for everybody who has a passion about public transport, but also a passion about rural and regional New South Wales. This is uh, a fantastic day and demonstrates um, that our, my government's commitment is not just about Sydney, it's about making sure our key regional centres have the opportunity to access a daily commuter service. Um, and I want to congratulate the community of Bathurst who've been campaigning this for a lot for this for a long time. Uh, the local member of parliament, Mr Tool, since he's been elected has been in my ear every day and I also want to thank um, the great staff we have in, in Rail Corp, uh, especially Mr uh, Tony, the head of our operations area, who made this possible. So uh, they knew very clearly what our vision was and they made sure it happened and I'm delighted that the train was packed when it arrived at Central Station and I do encourage uh, the Bathurst community to literally get on board to uh, use the service and uh, to demonstrate how important it is to your community but also to public transport uh, beyond the mountains area. I see this has been a, a great thing for the whole Central West and uh, towns, uh, yeah. Orange, Cowra yeah. can all tap into this service. No, definitely. Uh, adjoining towns can definitely tap into the service but it also demonstrates the potential for further growth. I mean, you can literally live in Bathurst, work in Sydney, live in Bathurst, access things in Sydney or vice versa uh, and it's a wonderful thing to, uh, wonderful thing to be able to tell the Bathurst community but also adjoining townships as you've outlined. And it is a historic day because Bathurst has a very rich history of our state, uh, history in rail transport and so to bring this service into, into play is uh, I think one of the proudest achievements to date as, as my being the Minister for Transport. Thank you very much Minister. Thank you very much. Here we are at Central, what a great day. It's been a tremendous trip down hasn't it, a real happy one and uh, a very fruitful occasion and uh, it's obvious that it shows that uh, this service has been very well received. Look I haven't heard a word of criticism about the service at all and the, the people are all in a happy mood. I think the people of Bathurst realised just how big an occasion this is. They did, they did indeed and the support has been tremendous today really and uh, you look at the support we've got down at the railway station and how the whole um, the event at the railway station went very smoothly and cooperatively and so but that shows that people were quite happy with what they were doing. Well John, congratulations to you and the committee for all the work you've done. Thank you very much, but it's been our pleasure. It's been about the community. This it's, it hasn't really been about the rail action community, the rail action group. It's um, it's for the community and it's for the growth of Bathurst because Bathurst is going to grow as uh, time goes on, and this is going to help it one hell of a lot. Good on you and well done. Right. Thanks. Interviews with the Minister and members of the Rail Action Group and other uh, passengers continued for well on to half an hour. It was a very thorough interview and we can see some of these clips at the end of this production. Central Railway Station is located on the southern end of the Sydney CBD and is the largest railway station in Australia. It services almost all of the lines on the Sydney Trains network and is the major terminus for inter-urban and interstate rail services. It houses the operations of the Rail Corporation New South Wales. Central Station was designed by the government architect Walter Liberty Vernon and has been described as the grandest railway station in Australia. Time gets by far too soon and we need to board the Circular Quay Railway to get back to Central. We're looking at an older picture in the archives. Central, awaiting departure, 5.50. People are already arriving. And here we go again. Leaving Central. What's the time, Lawrence? Uh, Bruce, we departed nine seconds late <laughs> at uh, 5.50 and nine seconds. So no. I wonder can we make up those nine seconds on the way to, uh, yeah. to the first off at Katoomba. I somehow think we probably will. Yeah. <laughs> Station. 
we've been going for time, Lawrence. Uh, pretty well right on time, Bruce. They've right. pulled us up a couple of times because right. we actually got ahead of things. Mount Victoria, Bruce. Yes. So this is uh, one of the scheduled stops for the train. Right. And uh, it's nine. It's 7:56. Right. So I think we're pretty well on time still. Yeah. So looking at uh, 9:30 arrival into yeah. uh, into Bathurst still, Bruce. Yeah. Next stop uh, is Bell. Right. Then Lithgow, and then we don't have another stop until Bathurst. Right. So, yeah. This is quite a high area, isn't it, Mount Victoria? Yeah. Right at the top of the right at the top of the Blue Mountains, Bruce. Right. It's uh, been a long journey, well worth it. What have you thought about it, Lawrence? Uh, very smooth, Bruce, good service, yeah. quick. And, uh, you know, when you think how well it rode, the roughest bit of the track was just coming down Raglan Bank, just near Bathurst. So, well, I think we're going pretty fast there. Thank you, Lawrence, for coming down with me and doing the interview. It's my today. pleasure, really enjoyed it. It's yeah. really good. Thank you. And around the Sydney commuters will have a new Penrith to Central Express trains from tomorrow morning. A host of new timetable changes are about to come into effect, which will see people on Sydney's outskirts benefit from extra services. The Transport Minister counted the minutes and stood ready on the platform. And then a train not seen for 20 years arrived in Sydney. The new daily return Bathurst commuter service brought its first passengers and a celebration. Beautiful, fantastic. We've been waiting for this for a while. Probably the most welcome of 44 new rail services starting tomorrow. Especially on those lines which are heavily congested, but especially from areas where they're travelling those longer distances. It means on a weekend, 8,500 extra seats between Newcastle, Central Coast and Sydney. On the South Coast, 7,000 extra seats. On weekdays, four new daily trains on the Eastern and Illawarra line. On the Western line, 10 new services. From Penrith, new express services to Central in the morning peak, paving the way, the state government says, to its major rail timetable overhaul. Shifting people to their jobs. Absolutely. You know, all this is the working area. I reckon it'll pla uh, clear the platforms a lot quicker. But tomorrow, some trains may not stop at the stations they once did. Passengers should check the timetable. Chris Marr, 7 News. Express service to Sydney is now up and running with the first load of passengers making the journey early yesterday morning. The Bathurst to Sydney bullet was waiting patiently at the platform before crowds arrived to witness the maiden journey of the long-awaited train. The platform was filled to the brim with excited passengers, including the little ones. This is tremendous, isn't it? Yeah, look at the crowd that's here already and the enthusiasm and the excitement of the whole thing. The historic moment got a big thumbs up from the enthusiastic drivers. After a brief official opening, the party moved to the platform for a cutting of a blue ribbon to welcome the first passengers. It was then all aboard train 2809, leaving at 7.28 a.m. on the dot. as they waved goodbye. Each of the 178 seats were filled. From then on, it was standing room only. The stops through to Sydney are quite limited. There are only six stops through from Bathurst to Central, and this allows the train to get to uh, Central in a timely manner. It's a great bonus for the people of Bathurst. They can go down for business, they can go and see their families, they can go shopping or they can go to medical appointments. So it's very exciting. The new train service means that Bathurst is finally part of the Greater Sydney Rail Network, rather than being uh, seen as being an outlining region. It's not just a commuter service, it's also a scenic traveller's delight. It's been 20 years since Bathurst last had a daily rail service to Sydney. It's something the people have been crying out for. It's a, it's a great idea. It's about time we got after 17 odd years of lobbying, we finally got the train. I think it just means being able to somebody put you on the train, meet your luggage, not having to cart it around and um, just generally make it an easier trip. It's now all speed ahead as the new service gathers pace. It's hoped more people will take to the track and leave the car at home. Siobhan Fogarty, Win News. There are so many outstanding events in our community 
and when a number of us were called on to judge the event of the year, I've got to tell you, it was incredibly tough and I would not like to have been the person who had to make that final decision. Joining us on the stage to, event, to announce the Bathurst Regional Council event of the year, welcome again to our Mayor, Monica Moores. Thank you, Janine. Uh, the events of the year certainly demonstrate just how much people and groups of people put into the community. However, there is one winner, and I should really say, and the winner is, and it's so exciting, it is, the Bathurst Central Daily Express Service, their first train trip. So, who's coming up? Come on, all of you. You're on your own, John. And I'd like to ask Gary Rush, here they come. Max Turnbull, Margaret Hollis. They worked hard for many years and that very first trip was wonderful, so thank you very much. And Councillor Gary Rush will present the certificate. Thank you. Well, they were retired, Madam Mayor, and uh, all the uh, nominees for this award and to your fellow Bathurstians. This is uh, a tremendous honour and really very exciting. We are a really very privileged to be living in a progressive and growing regional city located within the outer catchment of the Sydney zone. It was then important that Bathurst be served with a, a day suburban rail service and that launch of that service be a significant and momentous occasion. Thank you to the Bathurst Regional Council for promoting this award and then presenting it. And to the various events that occur in our city, truly support the Council's endeavours to grow Bathurst into a very significant regional city. Thank you to the Rail Action Bathurst members, who are now some of them are standing beside me, and to Paul Till, both as the Mayor and our local member, and to Gladys Berejiklian, and the Transport Minister, and to the many sections of the community for their contribution into getting the Bathurst Express service up and running. Without all your help, I would not be standing here with this award. The, the new train service has been a great success. It has been embraced overwhelmingly by the community. There had been occasions where after many rejections from previous governments, we would have given up. But when you really believe in something, and with the dedication of the Rail Action members, giving up was not an option. So, thanks a lot to the community for your support. I will continue to be involved in the community organisations and events. But having recently celebrated my 74th birthday, I won't be around for another 18 years to commit to a long-term project that was the time frame taken to have success with the Bathurst Express. So it's very significant that I wish you all a very happy Australia Day. It's significant that Bathurst has now been brought into the suburban train network and Bathurst is a great city so keep supporting it. It's a wonderful city and it's run by a, a, a wonderful and progressive council and as we know we have great support from our media through 2BS and the Western Advocate. So happy Australia Day everyone. And many, many thanks to you all, and particularly my Royal Action Group members. Thank you.